Hey guys, starting over here again. Um, today was a really tough day for me. It was really rough. I went through a lot of unnecessary drama with family, and I'm so stressed out right now. Like I'm so freaking stressed out. You just don't even know. Like starting over doesn't get upset though. Starting over. Things just, just she just lets them go. But the other part of me, that Karen bitch, she's really angry. That bitch don't know how to fucking act, how to stay inside. I keep telling that bitch, you stay your ass inside. Oh God. She lets things affect her so fucking much. She's always concerned about people that don't give a fuck about her. That Karen bitch is weak. And that's why I had to take over. <sighs> Starting over. I'm in complete control everything. <laughs> now see Karen, let me tell you something about her ass. You see her coming through? I'm cursing. Starting over doesn't curse. <laughs> I'm gonna have to push her back a little more. So let me tell you about Karen. Karen is in control of her life. Karen is always on top organized not as organized as a lot of people but she's pretty freaking organized so caring she cares she cares a lot she doesn't care as much as starting over but she cares she cares too much and that's one of her weaknesses it's one of her dirty flaws starting over starting over just smiles and takes things as what they are you know because you can't change it. Let me tell you something. No matter how much you love an individual, no matter how much you care for an individual, and no matter how long, that doesn't mean they have to feel the same about you. Karen doesn't seem to get that. I try to tell her. I try to teach her. I try to say, Karen, you need to understand certain things in order to function in this world. <laughs> but she just doesn't want to get it. I swear sometimes I think she's freaking retarded. But see, I know. And I love her enough not to let her fall. <laughs> you see, today, like a little while ago, I caught her crying and boohooing her eyes out over something that she can't change. Her thinks that because she loves someone and treats someone good and nice and fairly that they'll treat her fairly and that's just not the way of the world. People just don't think like that. No matter how much she wants them to. So she's all crying and boo-hoo and I'm like, Karen, Karen, like seriously, you need to pull yourself together. <sighs> Bad thing to watch. <laughs> Without me, I don't know what she would do. You see me? I can get her paid. I can get her laid. And I can make her happy. I told her, stick with me and you won't go wrong. If you keep giving in to your weaknesses, you will be and have nothing. what I told her. I really hope it registered to her this time. I really do. Cause she's such a sad case sometimes. And don't get me wrong, she's a beautiful, lovely, wonderful person. I have to stand up. Oh. Damn it. She's a beautiful, lovely, wonderful person. She just needs to stop wearing her feelings on her freaking sleeve. It's so ugly. 
in anyone. You know, and I just want to say this with a woman. It's so ugly for anyone to be like that. <laughs> I don't know what she would do about me. I just keep going back to that because <laughs> she needs me so much. And sometimes she doesn't even realize it. Who picks her up when she's down? I do. I'll never leave her. She better recognize. I'm going to end this now. Feel free to share your thoughts. You probably won't, though, because I don't really have any in here yet. <laughs> and see, she likes that about here, too. She likes the fact that there's not many people to really pry into her life, her personal issues. But, you know, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that she's so weak, either. We're going to have to change that, aren't we? Anyway, until...